The word snowflake is almost synonym to the brand Grand Seiko. While GS debuted the first watch in 1960, the most desired and popular Grand Seiko to date has been the snowflake. And while spring drive movement is one character of the snowflake, it really is the dial elements that change the game completely. And then while there is easily a difference between the finish and feel of Seiko and Grand Seiko, this particular reference in the video has many common elements with the Grand Seiko Snowflake, including the case, the dial, the hands and even the hour markers. When you compare the difference in the price and relate with the difference in experience, you really want to find out more about it. Seiko Presage SARX055 is the watch that strikes the right balance between the Grand Seiko feel yet the Seiko price. Of many common elements with the snowflake, the first thing you notice when you hold it is the titanium finish on the case and the bracelet. Being all titanium means that the watch weighs really light and on the scale this was a little under 110 grams. For reference, Rolex Submariner for the same bracelet length for me weighs close to 160 grams. So this baby snowflake in all titanium costume is definitely a very light watch. For some, such a light watch will be a sign of comfort and for others, it may be a lack of much needed weight from the watch to be felt on the wrist. The case comes with the nicely brushed top surfaces of the lugs which align with the brushed bracelet nicely. And then the bezel is polished which then further complements the looks and goes with the polished parts of the bracelet. The case sides are also polished and I have to say that although this polishing isn't the same signature Zaratsu polishing on the snowflake, this is definitely one of the finer ones that can be had in Seiko's. The edges, bevels and angles are sharp and give the watch a bolder look. Looking at the angles, sharp transition between the brushed and polished surfaces and then the quality of polish itself, you can easily confuse this watch as stainless steel and then a Grand Seiko. When you get to the dial, you truly start to enjoy the real pleasure that this baby snowflake has to offer. The most obvious reason why this particular reference is called baby snowflake is the texture of the dial and the color. The texture of the dial is beautiful and features haphazard lines to add interest and character to the watch. The lines are not quite exactly the same as the ones on Snowflake that are mostly vertical and give that feeling of freshly fallen snow. The texture here rather gives you the impression of freshly fallen particles of ice or let's say small and sharp particles of glass that are painted in white. It's different but in a beautiful way. It isn't necessarily better or inferior than the actual pattern on Snowflake dial. It's just different. The second resembling element we have on the dial is the second scent which is beautifully lustrous blue and it does pop out of the dial and adds that stunning fun character to the otherwise dressier and subtle looks of the watch. The dauphine shaped dial hands have the characteristic GS looks and while the face setting on them is different than the one on Snowflake, they are polished in detail and give that brilliant sheen and shimmer during the wrist experience. The hour markers also have further multiple facets similar to the ones on Snowflake and like I've quoted in my previous videos too, I really like such beveled hour markers especially for how they play with the light giving a much refined and higher end experience. The date window has a rectangular frame that is also polished to show the date in the same matching white background. The watch does come with 100 meters of water resistance but since the crown is push in only and not screwed in, I would personally be reluctant in wearing this watch to even surface swim. The watch comes with Seiko 6R15 movement and exhibition case back. The automatic caliber offers 23 jewels, hacking seconds hand function and 50 hours of power reserve by beating at 21,600 vibrations in an hour. The accuracy of movement as mentioned on Seiko website is less than impressive and it is plus 25 seconds to minus 15 seconds. Now I do understand that the accuracy in real life will be much better than this but if my personal watch gains 25 seconds a day, I would literally consider it due for service. So I simply can't speak high of this accuracy tolerance which is a shame and not comparable with Snowflake by any means. The movement overall looks fine 
and while you do get to see the beauty of how mechanical movement operates and functions, it is a basic movement without any high-end finish or feel on display. But again, you won't expect it for the price that this watch carries. Under the macro, this watch definitely shines when you factor in its price. The dial pattern maintains the consistency and haphazardness of the protruded lines. The hour markers show a very decent polish work, but the edges and surfaces do show some minor imperfections and roughness, especially at the edges. There's some very fine dust too that I could spot, but nothing of major concern. The logo for Seiko is also applied and shows similar surface flaws at macro level, especially if you see the center line of alphabet E. The dial hands, I must say, are beautifully polished, and I don't know if they're Zaratsu polished, but what I do know is that they are very close to that level, if not the same. The underside of the second hand is not painted, and you can see some small dark dots which I assume are spray paint marks and not the rust marks. The joint for second hand is fair in quality for its price, although it does show rough surface at the joint, but nothing of concern for its price. The surfaces on the movement are very rough and didn't even require me to go up close to spot the imperfections. On the wrist, the watch wears true to its size. Being 40.8mm case excluding the crown, you would think that the watch wears similar to the snowflake which is 41mm in case size. But this baby snowflake has much shorter lugs which measure at 45mm compared to snowflake which has lug to lug of a little over 48mm. On my 6.5 inches wrist with a wrist span of 55 mm, this baby snowflake wears true to its nickname too and it does wear smaller than snowflake and in the center of my wrist. The dial is beautiful and frosty white and gives you that fresh and clean look that you simply can't get bored looking at it. The watch sits on the wrist and contours well enough to maintain the dressier lines and subtle form, yet being on the bracelet means you get that sporty feel. The case is thin at 11mm and that further complements the overall dressier looks. Needless to mention, this is thinner than Snowflake which measures at 12.5mm. The bracelet comes in exactly the same design and feel as Snowflake and has 5 connecting links which are mostly brushed but then the outer edges of the center links are polished and this is the same design as in Snowflake. The finish, feel and experience from the bracelet is the same as you get from Snowflake and I'm not exaggerating, but the bracelet I don't think is inferior to Snowflake at all. The watch comes with nicely machined and executed double deployed clasp, which sits perfectly flush with no flimsy feel when secured. There are however no micro adjustments or any extension link system on the go. Seiko SARX055 and unofficially nicknamed as Baby Snowflake has the characteristics, design elements and the feel where you not only get to experience the looks of the original snowflake, but you do find similarities even under the macro. It of course lacks the legendary spring drive movement and the iconic snowflake dial, but at the fraction of the cost, I do think that this baby snowflake has more to offer than the price difference would suggest. Let's forget about its resemblance with snowflake for a moment and see what you are getting. A nicely sized case with the polished and brushed profiles a textured dial with frosty and fresh white color, exhibition case back, thinner case to slip the watch under your cuff and then the steel bracelet to offer the sporty characteristics. And then let's not forget that glamorously shining blue second set. At this price, do you really expect more?